We return to Dead Rising 3 guys and girls here inside of the safe house slash garage slash right where we left off with Nick holding this giant heavy car battery. Let's give him some sunglasses instead. Now I've added some sweet aviators to my, uh, <laughs> my safe zone clothing closet. You have clothing, all sorts of tutorials uh, if you want to look at that, but we don't need that. We are going to just make our way out of here. I think I'm going to pick up the crowbar. Car battery is fun, but not really necessary. Thank you guys so much for all your support. It does mean a ton. If you guys keep smashing that like button, I'll keep bringing these as fast as I can. And let me know in the comments below what you think of the game and of the Xbox One so far. I'm loving Next Gen like a crap ton already. It's been insane and awesome, and now it's time to get the heck out of here. Um, let's use the crowbar, and let's, let's go in here and just see what's in the rest of the garage. We've got Ron and Dick just chilling. We have a broom. We've got some cooking oil. Uh, looking like blueprints and such there. Mechanic creeper? Oh, there's a blueprint even here. Oh, incoming call. Uh-oh. Side mission. We should probably accept that. Jack in the box. The heck do you think that is? Toy Robot plus... Plus... Wrench? Hang on. I'm gonna drop my, uh, my coffee. No coffee. Um, where's the Toy Robot? Not the crowbar. Guess we'll drop the wrench for now. No. Nick, you gotta work on your pickup skills here. It's not that. Okay, what is it? Um. Toy. Oh, cardboard box. Weird, 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 weird. Alright, now we can make our combo breaker. Wow! Nick's getting too excited. Good deal. Okay. I don't know what the heck this thing is going to do, but it looks pretty darn sweet. Uh, let's pick up the crowbar as well. Keep that in storage. I don't have... I do have one snack. Okay. Let's go check out that side mission. Um, yeah, zombies. So if we open up our map here... Signs of safety as a side mission. Um, explore while around is busy. Uh, can we do signs of safety? Oh, investigate the motel. That is signs of safety. Okay, cool. So we've got our little uh, thing selected. Can I take a car out? Oh, this one's busted down. Okay. Well, we'll just exit. We could freaking stand there and build weapons for hours, I feel like. But we'll uh, jump our way out this door and enter the city. I feel like I should close it. Close the door. No! Alright, fine. Don't close the door, then. Okay, let's get over there. I feel like the jack-in-the-box should be used when there's a lot going on. Is this a clothing shop? Can we wear dresses? Oh, goodness gracious. There's a Frank statue nearby. Frank statue? What is this? Female mannequin? <laughs> Limited edition Frank. We reached level three. That's pretty awesome. This is a great game just to explore, you know, just kind of really sink your teeth into and enjoy. We can make him all sorts of weird. What is this outfit? Woman's cashmere sweater? Eh. Oh, baby, I'm fabulous. Uh, or we can go over here and wear Daisy Duke. That looks absolutely ridiculous. Um, what is this? Oh, it's more Daisy Duke and shorts. I'm gonna wear this, uh, not the cash register. Give me back my crowbar. The cashmere sweater. Well, just because it looks so darn hilarious. Um, okay, Ron and them are just chilling there. What's up with you? Get out of here. Um. Kind of like that we can, like, just walk through all these buildings. It's interesting that we're not in a mall. We're just in a brand new world, you know what I mean? Like, it's not... I mean, it's insane, but it's open, which is just a totally different... It's 
totally different style for the game, which I find very interesting. Buster move. I'm in the store. These guys are grooving through all of this craziness. There's a backpack. And there's music playing. Metal baseball bat. Looks like there's a blueprint around the corner. I'm gonna take the alleyway. Where is this thing? It must be like up above or something. Whoa! Okay, this isn't good. All of a sudden, we're acquiring quite the, uh, the attraction here. I have a level up point. What am I doing? Get out of the way. Let's sprint. I mean, there's plenty of stuff to collect. We could spend hours just collecting. I'm gonna get to this mission. Oh, goodness. There's this survivor up ahead. You get to 10. You get this special ability. Ooh, yes! Fill him up and make him nasty. Might as well just grab some PP while we can. There's a 20 kill combo. Yes, 21. Beautiful. Ouch. Where's Bob? There's Bob. Okay. Bob Rick, I'm coming to save you, buddy. I got you. Don't worry. We're in the gym. Getting some workouts done. Bob's just firing away without much accuracy. That's all right, Bob. Oh, no. Okay, Jack in the Box. I still want to save that a little bit later. Ooh, boxing gloves. No, not the bottle of water. Boxing gloves. There we go. Get our Ken and Ryu on. This is a Capcom game after all. I have heard and seen that after you beat the game, you unlock all this awesome Mega Man stuff. I don't know if it's just Nightmare Mode or what. But like Mega Man Busters and all this really cool stuff. Get out of here. Okay, I'm trying. Okay. Crowbar is way better. I got you. Just give me like another second to clear this out. Bingo! You good? Wow, level three and level four. Let's spend some points. All right, so we've got two points to spend. So I could add an inventory slot, or I could give myself life. Um, this is more melee damage. Let's see, smarts, PP gain. Um, collectible detection radius is bigger, I guess. Let's do this. Let's boost our health once. A one life cube. And then do I want agility or do I want PP gain? Let's say PP gain. Okay. We're good. Alright. No, I I just spent them. You know. I just spent them. And now you can see we have an extra cubelet of love up at top. Let's run over here by this crashed military cop. Alright, I'm gonna... Set this thing down. I don't know what it does exactly. This can't be what it's used for. There we go. Okay. Jack in the box. It's about to explode, I think. Oh my god, look at that. It's like freaking out. <laughs> Robot death. Disney on drugs. Alright, you do your work. It says there's a tragic ending nearby. I don't even know what that means, but we're about to find out. Um, I need to gather some weaponry. I'm kind of low on that. What is this tragic ending? It blew up, by the way. This is so messed up. All right, so tragic ending. Somebody died on the chopper, I guess. Interesting. We have to go through there anyway, so we might as well. Shit. Gave us a lot of free PP, though. So I'm pretty happy about that. Grenades. Interesting. Um, light machine gun. You can use it as a weapon in this way. You can also go ham on these guys. I really like the triggers on the new Xbox controller. If you're wondering how it feels, I think I mentioned this a little bit before, but it's a really good controller with great control. And, um, like on the sticks, like you have really good finesse, I feel like, over your characters. And... Oh god, what you doing up there? Who are these uh, illegals? Uh oh, that's blocked off. They're not like illegals like foreigners, they're like illegals because- Oh, because they don't have the Zombrex chip, I bet. Okay. Can I get in here? Room number one? A person of interest. Not now. Okay. Think I can climb up on here, maybe? 
Nope. Doesn't have that massive of jumping ability. It looks like I should be able to enter one of these doors, but, huh. Quarantine zone. It's a locked room. I think I can bust in. I want to get in. Huh. There's a Frank statue nearby. All these Frank statues. Ooh, assault rifle. Nifty. Um, where is the ladder? Ladder and or staircase. What's in here? Rations and stuff. Maybe I can climb on top of the truck. Because none of these doors seem to want to open for me. Okay, let's see. Can I climb up on this? Alright. That's exactly what we needed to do. The Frank statue is right here. Woo! 2,000 PP. We love Frank, don't we? Um, I'm gonna drop the boxing gloves. Pick up the fire axe. I think that'll probably be a more benefit. Go this way. Anna, what's up? You're not case. You're not job. What you doing? Hello? Cool painting. But you do know there's a zombie <laughs> outbreak going down, right? Get a clue and mind your own business. Don't mess with me, okay? This is serious shit. <sighs> okay, whatever. But looks like you're out of paint, so why don't you just get somewhere safe and finish it later? There won't be a later if I don't get this done. Wait, 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 who are you with, huh? Are you a snitch? What? No, I'm not a snitch. What are you talking about? Why is this so important? It's not for me. It's for people like me, the ones who live off the grid because of those fascists. <sighs> All right, well, uh, let's talk to her again. Hello, Anna. Illegals. Wait, you mean this sign means there's a safe place nearby? Safe from zombies? Don't call me an illegal. Yes, that's why I have to finish, but my cannons are dried to shit. I need three more to get this done. You mean spray paint? Cannons. That's cool. Sure, I'll try to get you three. I've got a call coming through, by the way. Peace out, monk in the Zen Gardens in Ingleton. Looks kind of lonely, man. Great, a psycho mission. Oh, goodness gracious, there's paint cans to collect. So much stuff to do. What's really awesome, I think, about uh, Dead Rising is that they just they throw so much at you and you can kind of craft your own adventure based on what you want to do, how you want to play. Now, do you think there's a way into the lower room? I mean, this is locked. Maybe she'll unlock it for me or something? I don't know. There's definitely a blueprint in there. Um, but we'll jump down. Leave this madness. Uh, Zen Garden's over there. Let's go grab the paint can from this closer place. What's up, zombie woman? I'm doing a pretty good job of not getting accidentally, like, uh, trampled and or killed. Into the barber shop we go. There's a star. I don't know what that means. See that star on the map? Cardboard box. Is that just because it's a, a piece of equipment that I can use to build something? No, it's definitely not for that. Interesting. I don't know what that star is for. Maybe it's something on the roof. Huh. Any way out of here? Can I grab this stash? You fireman mustache. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who needs sunglasses and you got a freaking mustache? Major mustache? Let's put on the large disco outro. Yeah, buddy. This guy looks absolutely right. insane. No. <laughs> All right. How do I get up there, you think? Because it looks like... Well, let's grab the spray paint can first, and maybe that will guide us where we need to go. Some, there's got to be a way up on this roof of this building somewhere. All right, zombies. Slice and dice make everything nice. Yeah. Roll off the way. Um. Okay, there it is. I have to carry it, I think. Maybe adding an inventory slot pretty soon would be a good idea. What do you think? I think so. Oh, chainsaw. 
That could be useful. I have to bring this with me, which kind of stinks. So we'll drop the snacks. I don't really. Okay, good. It doesn't take up an inventory slot. What are these glowing? Fix that TV up by now. All right, go talk to Gronda. Night. Oh yeah. Nail gun. Let's go with the chainsaw. Head after these other freaking. Am I trapped? Can I? Looks like there's something around the corner here. Yeah, definitely up here. Can we get up there? What is this? Weapons blueprint. Mecha dragon. Dragon head plus parasol. That thing looks crazy. Katana sword. We don't seem to have a dragon head around here. There's a freaking sword though, so we'll take that instead. Um, uh, it doesn't look like I can climb up on the roof from here. Oh, there is the dragon head. <gasps> okay. Um. All right. I have to beat you up, because I don't want to die by accident. <laughs> Run over here. Let's go, Nick. Now let's combine them. Combo it up. Mecha Dragon. I think this thing's going to, like, breathe fire. What do I do? All right. Let's go somewhere I need to get to. Let's see if we can do something. There's a psycho over that way. I don't know that I'm ready for him yet. How can I... I gotta get out of here. thought there was an exit... That way, but there's not. Can I, like, fly or something? <laughs> I don't know. This is pretty insane. Or here's the path to the roof. I'm sure there's zombies up there to test this out on as well. Pylons. Another chainsaw. Look at these green things. That's the star. Survival training. Use nothing but firearms. Kill as many zombies as possible in a given timeline. Interesting. 100 kills, 30 kills. We need to come back and we have some better, uh... Better weaponry for that. There's a dead person stinking. Oh, up here! Whoa! Okay, accidentally hurt myself. Let's test this out. What does this thing do? She's a crazy dragon head. Ouch! Ow! What is the Y attack? Ooh, yes! Ramming and flying. I feel like we're like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle villain or something. Isn't that kind of how we look? Oh, it's just a little, little fly. I wish it was like a huge big fly. That's still pretty darn awesome. All right, guys and girls, we're going to wrap this episode up. Heading for the spray paint cans. When we return to complete that side mission, then we'll make our way back to Ronda eventually. The Psycho. Lots of things to do. Lots more to see. I can't wait to share it all with you and you and you and you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this uh, game. Super mucho like I am. Hit that like button if you want to see more as we pile drive that person into the ground, into the cement. Until next time, guys. Have a fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate. Watch out for this crazy dragon man. And we will see you all later.